Hello, this is Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com and I'm excited to launch this multi time frame trend indicator. This is the most powerful indicator to capture trends in all time frames. It works for all asset classes, whether you're trading stocks, options, futures, ETFs, gold, bonds, and in fact, will work on any chart and on any time frame. This indicator will actually make your trading profits a no brainer if you just follow the indicator because it works on every time frame. Let's now jump into the details of this indicator and you'll also see a demo of how these indicators work. The multi time frame trend indicator is a very powerful, versatile and flexible indicator. It will capture trends on all time frames and on each chart you'll see a visual representation of up to five levels of time frames. This works for intraday trading, it works for long term trading and it also works for very long term investing and it works for all time frames in between. And as I mentioned, it works for on all asset classes, stocks, options, ETFs, futures, gold, it doesn't matter what you trade, it will work on every chart and on every time frame. The multi time frame trend indicator will give you five levels of deep trend analysis. So on every chart, you can set five time frame trends. So for example, you'll have a five minute trend, a 10 minute trend, a 20 minute trend, a 30 minute trend and a one hour trend. Or as another example, you can have a one day trend, two days, four days, one week and one month. You can even go further than that. You can go in between that. And there is a master indicator also available on the same chart that will tell you when all of these time frames are aligned and this visual representation is what makes trading a no brainer. It also clearly shows when to exit on all time frames with the maximum profit. The multi time frame trend indicator is launching in December 2019. It has been fully tested on all time frames. The product videos include detailed usage videos once you buy the product. It installs on the Think or Swim platform as a study and it's fully configurable for multiple charts and multiple time frames. It also includes audio alerts when all five levels are aligned and this is the master level indicator that's available on every chart. So without any further ado, let's jump into the platform and let me show you how this multi time frame trend indicator works. Welcome to the demonstration of the multi time frame trend indicator. So let me explain what's going on over here. We have four frames and on all four frames I have the SPX uh, index right here. So the first one is a on the top left is a five day five minute chart. The top right is a five day 30 minute chart. The bottom left is a 20 day four hour chart and then the bottom right is a three month daily chart. So obviously you want to use the top left if you're going to be doing intraday trading uh, which lasts for anywhere from a few minutes to maybe an hour or two. You want to use the 30 minute chart where you want to keep the trade on for a few hours maybe perhaps even intraday but uh, maybe also going into the next day. The four hour chart is generally used for a couple of days, three, four days, that kind of a trend. And then the three month daily is more like a swing environment where your trade lasts for a, a few days at least. And so let's drill in to the top left, which is the intraday chart. And then I'll show you some of the others as well. So I want to maximize this cell right here. And this is what it looks like. So this is a five day, five minute chart. And let me just uh, take the whole day. And as you can see, it was a bearish day uh, yesterday. The chart itself is a five minute chart. These uh, five levels of uh, trend right here. So the lowest level is the five minute trend right here. And that is the time frame of the chart itself. It's a five minute trend. So the lowest level is the five minute trend. The one higher than that is the 10 minute. And you can see these are configured right here. It's the 10 minute trend. This is the 20. The third row is the 20 minute trend. The fourth one is the 30 minute trend. And the fifth is the one hour trend. When all of these are aligned, then you'll see a green dot or a red dot depending on uh, whether it's bullish or bearish and this is the master level indicator and so once all of these are aligned it tells you that you can take a trade so here as you can see once the markets opened it opened on a very bearish note uh, the market started 
and you can see all the master indicator is red for at least about uh, eight or ten bars right there and so you can confidently take the trade and you can either exit when there is one green dot or two green dots uh, you know you can you can exit your trade so right from here onwards once you see these dots you can you, you can take the trade and even though you have a couple of green bars here you can see the 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 all five trends did not change so it was bearish on the five minute ten minute uh, 20 minute 30 minute and and the one hour and so even though when you had two green bars it did not change and so you were still in the trade and this is when it changes and uh, as i said one bar you need not be shaken off but if you want to be safe you can exit or else you could have gone into this trade until this point where you see two dots whether you exit on one bar or two bars it's up to you you can look at the price action perhaps and uh, and take that call and so similarly then you have here there is another bearish trend over here that develops from here and this goes all the way till the, this bar right here so not a huge trade but of course this trade was very uh, very good and then you have a slight bullish trend here intraday and this goes for about six to eight bars in general once these trends align you can expect them to go for anywhere between four bars to about eight or nine bars that is the general average that we've noticed in our testing. Most of the time, it's somewhere between 4 and 10, and that helps to keep you in the trade. So the master level indicator is obviously the, the one that you want to be looking at, and when all, all five uh, time frames are aligned, that's when you want to take the trade. Now, this is on an intraday trade. Now, so let me show you uh, how it works on a very different time frame so if you're doing a swing trade you're looking at a three month uh, daily chart and so let me maximize this uh, the bottom right over here and now you can see because the SPX has been in a very very strong trend you can see that all five indicators like you can see it all the way from here actually uh, and uh, you can see it's a bullish trend here we have one red dot on the five minute so now in general I mean not on the five minute the bottom level is the one day now the bottom level is the one day the next level is the two days and you can see all these configurations here it's one day two days four days one week and one month so this plots for a swing trading environment and on the spx actually it's looking very very good all the way and if you didn't get shaken out by these and you'll also see some red bars but you can see that the indicator the master level doesn't change here it doesn't change here it doesn't change because the trend is so strong it goes back over 30 days and you can see that once again you have uh, one bar and one bar so you might or might not exit the trade if you exited the trade that's perfectly fine but you can see you could have taken uh, advantage of a trend like this on the on, on on about a two week trade or so and of course then the trend starts again and here you see there are two dots so th this means it is bearish on the one day as well as the two day trend and so now that gives you a strong indication that if at all you were in the trade you need to get out at this point let me go back to the four frame chart similarly i don't have to explain how the 30 minute works or the four hour works it'll work the same way what i want to also show you in this is a different kind of chart so as you can see this is intraday uh, this is this could be intraday this could be very very small one or two day trades and this could be a swing trade i want to show some longer time frames and so i'm going to come here and i'll take the slightly longer ones and so here we are so now this is a 20 day two hour trade to begin with and this is a 30 day four hours this is a one year daily and this is a three year two day chart so you can see this is very long term this goes all the way back and if I back this out you can see that it'll go all the way into uh, into 17 and uh, 16 so uh, this is what it looks like on a three year chart so let me go back and zoom in so we can see clearly similarly this is a one year daily chart so if you take a trade on the one year daily chart you could be in this trade for a couple of months uh, uh, if you take a trade on the three year two day chart you could be in the trade for even longer so if you're dealing with options then you, you would take an option that's at least 90 days away 120 days away if you're trading on the three year two day chart if you're trading on the one year daily chart you would go at least 60 days away and similarly and so forth so let's uh, look at the even the three year daily chart and uh, uh, three year two day chart rather and you can see 
uh, the three year two day chart. So each bar is two days and you can see so now you would be in this trade for uh, I would say almost close to a month or maybe more than that. Similarly, you, know, you have some more trends. So you have to choose your option series accordingly based on what kind of time frames you're choosing. So hopefully you're getting an idea of how powerful it is. It doesn't matter if you're a day trader, if you're a small, you know, two day kind of a trade or it's a swing trade going for a couple of weeks or if you're a lo slightly longer term trader uh, going for a, a month or two or even longer than that. You can set your time frames to anything on any chart. You, you just set it up. You don't need four panes. You, you just need, I'm just using it to show the, uh, the signals working on multiple charts and multiple time frames but basically you can choose the chart of your choice and study it and uh, based upon that you can take your trading decisions and finally i want to show you how this configuration gets uh, set up so if you look at the three year two day chart let's go to the studies and do edit studies and you'll see the multi time trend over here so here you come to the settings and we know that the base chart is a two day chart and so you want to configure all the time frames higher than that and so the lowest, the next one will be four days and you can configure this. So you can see the configuration allows you to set it, whether it's intraday, whether it's a small two day trades or a swing trade or position trades or even very long. So you can set all these things here, but yeah, this is where you would do it. So this is four days. Then the next time frame is one week. And then the time frame after that is one month. And then the time frame after that is one year. So in that sense, this is very powerful because here you can see it goes back a year and so when you have all five dots it's telling you it's aligned on the two days the four days the one week the one month as well as the yearly chart so it's extremely powerful and it works for all kinds of traders and you can do it's not just a index you can you can go to apple you can go to any stock it'll work on every one of those you can take your trades when these trends are aligned so let me go to gold uh, to show you how it would work on a commodity and so here we are now on gold we can see at least in the in the short run it's it's been bearish uh, we still don't have complete alignment in, uh, on the on the, on these ones here maybe if we go to the intraday kind of a setting and let me go back to gold there and let's see what it looks like because gold has been somewhat bearish uh, in the in the recent so you can see here it's uh, on the three month daily chart you can see we had a few red dots there so this is a very powerful indicator and there's going to be further videos on this and there will also be a webinar where i'll be explaining this further so uh, look forward to seeing you there and if you have any questions you can please email us at info at thank you